Previously on The Potentialists. I absolutely love the kid. I just hate it when I talk to him about something and he's like chewing me out. I find it to be very disrespectful. You know, at the same time, you know, he means what he's trying to help, but it comes off as being a dick. He's actually not even showing what we're teaching at BOA because he's not taking into himself to try to change. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. The problem is his attitude undermines what we're trying to do. She's just going, yeah, 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 I know and continuing he's, on the same he path. He speeds through everything he's gotta do without paying attention to the detail. And then when you tell him, hey, stop, pay attention to the detail is where he snaps at you. Right. And then you're like, but hey, you know, I'm just trying to tell you, pay attention to detail real quick. And then he just slaps you with his words. And then I, you know, I could be his mother. I don't need for a, a young chamac to be freaking telling you <laughs> those things all the time like that, you know? It's very hard because the little shitter, the little freaking uh, has captured our hearts as well so it's very challenging for us to love and give love to this little person all the time and then get slapped all the time and then on top of that most people don't even understand why we're, we're like mean or not even making manos here because we never make him do anything he accepts those things or asks for help to try and change but he's really never taking them in and until he doesn't take it in he won't change Alex brought up you wanting to do the 21 days of silence we want to hear why you think it's a good idea? Yeah. Okay. All of my stuff comes out of what I say. I know a lot of stuff. I know most of it is body language. But always something that always gets me in trouble is the actual talking. Whether it be just talking back, saying the wrong thing, or... I mean, I know my accents have a lot to play in it, but I really think that I get myself in a lot of trouble through my mouth. If I don't speak, I've never been through something like that, and I think it'll give me, like, a really big, like, introspective. I like you know, talking and being social and that means I can't, you know, say jokes or anything like that. I can't be funny and that's me. I just, I really think that'll do something. Do you see anything wrong with your behavior? Yeah. It's just always after it happens. Oh, okay, not during. I'm smart enough to figure out how to get out of this. I just need to be introspective and work on me. I'll be in such a freaking thought process for that whole time. You think you can do it? I know I can do it, and I don't see me coming out of it negatively. Like, I can only see one result coming out of it. What is it that you see coming out of it? I will learn a lot by not talking, because I've never not talked. If my mouth shuts up, then I'm sure my mind will shut up. I can only see me learning more about myself and actually finding out what it is that gets me in trouble. Instead of always snapping back, my reaction will be thinking. So what do you think, Eric? I think he can do it, and I think it'd be really good for him. My one question, my one thought is honestly, 21 days of silence is definitely hard. The problem that I see though is what happens if you don't complete it? I think there should be some kind of consequence or something so that you really, it pushes you to have to f***ing do it. Take it that you want to make this change or you, what's the change you like, want to make? I'm, I'm so like into this that I can't fail at this. I, okay, I will set up a what if. Okay, so set up the what if right now. The, the what if is, I mean, if that's not going to help me, then nothing's going to help me. I have to, I have to, I mean, it's Okay, obvious. I'll make it easy for you. 21 days, you're going to wear duct tape okay. or medical tape so it doesn't hurt your lips. If it can shut down wounds, it can shut down your mouth. Okay. Number two, no iPad, no phone. So you're cutting off all communication with anybody. Texting is communicating. No texting, no emailing, no communicating with No people. humming. Just... Writing on a piece of paper? That's it. That's the only thing you're allowed to do. And if you don't make the 21 days, the day you talk is the day you pack your stuff and you go. What do you think, guys? I think that's major, but I think it's what's gotta happen. There. It seems like there's been a pattern of you, you try to fix something and you work for a little bit and then suddenly you're back in your same thing and because of everything else that's been going on, everybody's kind of let that happen and we keep going this up and down thing. So if you were to do this and there weren't going to be some kind of major consequence like that, what would be the point? Yeah, I don't want to keep wasting time and just holding the whole team back. I'd rather be a part of the team. That's what I want to do. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Boa World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, 
subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me? <laughs>